Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm back again. I'm talking about. I got another banger for y'all, man. Where y'all hear this, man? This is the. This is just a funny, a funny old time back when I was in the pen, bro. And it wasn't funny for this guy, bro. Cause I'm about to tell y'all why. All right, so my man, this boy Sean, he was sweet, right? But he had this crazy idea to order himself a pair of Timberland Pros. $110 for a pair of Timberland Pros, man. It's like gold upstate. Yeah, so he gets his little Timberland Pros, bro. And everybody was peeping the scene, bro. They, they saw that fresh pair of butters. They wanted to put their feet in them. All these dudes, man, they ain't had no money for a pair of butters, bro. They're all broke as dirt. So, this man's getting hawked left and right, right? He's got his little Timberland pros. He's walking around like he's somebody now. He, he flipped his tongues forward. Had his tongues hanging like a lazy... I don't even know. He had his tongues hanging, bro. He thought he was a G, right? So, this man... He's stunting around in his new boots. He's thinking he's all that because he got his $100 Tims on. And you got to be a straight baller of state to wear a pair of them. And for real, at the end of the day, you got to be somebody to wear a pair of Tims, bro. Or somebody's going to take them joints. You can't just rock butters off state and be a sweet bull. They're going to take them joints, bro. And when I mean take them, you do anything necessary to take them boots off your feet, bro. If they got to pick you up and physically take them off. Not even kidding. Everything I tell y'all is not a joke, man. This is dead ass serious. Alright, so this dude got his little pair of boots, right? Boom. He hit the yard, he's stunting. Turns out somebody wanted that pair of boots, bro. So I I don't know what I don't know if this dude ran up a little drug debt or what. But all these dudes were plotting. So as soon as the COs hit the corner, the, the yard's the shape of an L like this. So as soon as the COs hit the corner, boom, made a little left because they do their brands, bro. So whenever the CO ain't there, that's your time to move. There's not this this prison. They must have had it. They were broke. They didn't have the dudes on the gun towers. They had the gun towers, but they ain't had no dudes up on the gun towers. There was a dude that walked around here and there over the wall because the wall is like 50 feet high at CI Pittsburgh and it's a, it's actually a walkway with railings on top too so you can't fall off if you're the guard up there taking watch so anyway it's it's impossible to jump this wall they, they don't need to sit up there with a gun and all that extra shit now I've been to prisons where they do sit up there with a gun and I've been to prisons where people they get shot with the gun now this prison was a little bit different. It had lifers, it was a level five, but they weren't up on the wall. I don't know why. So anyway, the guards, boom, they're doing the rounds. They're right here, boom. Guards are walking right here. Boom, they bang the left. So this white crib, his name was T. He went up the dude and he stole him. Bang, right in his mouth. The dude was a UFC fighter. Straight up UFC fighter. Like, you can probably find his name on the UFC, you know, fighters page and all that. He didn't make it nowhere. He had a little face tag. He had a lot of face tags, actually. And he was Muslim, too. White dude, his name's T. He was the only white Muslim crit I ever met that wasn't sweet. So, dude, punch him in his shit. Boom. He's just sitting there holding his mouth. He takes this dude up. Picks him up about eight feet off the ground and dumps him right on his neck. And uh, took his boots off. Boom. Left. Bro, he, he put them boots on right there. Dude didn't do nothing about it, right? So my man T puts his boots on, his new boots that he just took off of this man. To say the least. He's lacing him up. He's sitting on the bench like nothing happened. Because, you know, after something in prison happens... 
people just walk away and go on about their business like it never happened, bro. You, you don't see nothing. You speak nothing. No one tells on nobody. That's just how it works. Now, later on, the rats might drop a little piece of paper in the box, but that's how rats move upstate, to say the least. They move very silent and discreet. They don't, they don't tell right in front of your face. They drop pieces of paper into the box. That's how a rat becomes a rat. So, that's why people will tell you when you go up to that box, it's a little cancer box, make sure that somebody knows what you're dropping in there and you tell about five people before you drop that piece of paper in there because you can easily, easily be labeled a rat and get your neck broke the next day. So anyway, he's lacing up his boots. T's lacing up his boots. The dude Sean's sitting there all bloodied the fuck up. He got dumped on his neck and probably knocked the fuck out. I don't know what happened to him. They stomped his ass in too, as a matter of fact. Boom, boom, boom. Stomped his man's head in. It was, a, it was a mess, dude. But it was all within a matter of three seconds. Boom, bat, bing. Dude was mangled on the ground, laying there, shoeless. So dude's got his boots. He's lacing them up. Bang. He's over there dapping his homies up. Yeah, yeah, look, I'm gonna check my boots out. Yeah, the motherfucker thought his shit was sweet, blah, blah, blah. Bang. So dude's walking around in his socks. They didn't even leave him a pair of boots, bro. They took them too. Because in prison, you need your state boots in case you have to do something like visit or things of that nature. You need to be dressed properly. You need to be in your browns, but all the way up to the top, looking proper. It's like this... It's, it's like a concentration camp, bro. Like, you really need to be on your P's and Q's, bro. You can't just walk around with your shirt unbuttoned and stuff like that. So anyway, the dude's rocking his new boots. This dude's walking around in his socks in the middle of wintertime, bro. So the COs go up to the man, and they're like, Yo, bro, what the hell? What Where's your boots at? Why are you walking around in socks, blah, blah, blah. So he came up with a story real quick. Yeah, yeah, I lost my boots, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, oh, so why are you all beat up and things like that? And he's like, oh, oh, I fell. I fell playing basketball, blah, blah, blah. That's everybody's story. When you get punched on upstate, the only thing you can say if you don't want to be labeled as a rat is I fell playing basketball. You can't say you got elbowed. You can't say you were injured. For anything else besides I fell playing basketball, that's your four words. Now, getting punched on upstate automatically makes you sweet as fuck so now you're labeled as not only a bitch but now you're labeled as sweet as fuck too on top of that so this dude you know the next the next day comes around he walks back to his cell dude they left this man walking back to his cell in socks he gotta walk all the way around the camp to get back to your cell so boom he locks it in for the night He's talking to he's talking to his boys through the you know the grate in his door, screaming across the block, yeah, yeah, I gotta get my boots back, acting like he's gonna do something. So the next day I'm waiting for him to do something to get his boots back. And this fucking dude, man, he act like it never happened the next day, bro. So I try to pipe him up with batteries in his back. Like, yo, bro, you can't get your boots back or what, bro? You can't just walk around with another man wearing your boots, dog. That's just straight up disrespectful for real. So he goes up and talks to my man Pun. Now Pun's his big dude. He looks like Big Pun. That's, you know, hence the name. He got his name Big Pun. But his name's really Pun, obviously. No big. So anyway, he talks to Pun. Pun says, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get your boots back, blah, 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 for a low price, $10, da, 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 da. So. In 800 feet, keep left to stay on I-95 South. So this dude gave him the $10. Top of him getting his boots stolen. Keep left to stay on I-95 South. And on top of him getting his boots stolen, Pun stole his $10. Continue on I-95 South for six miles. 